Hey everyone, and welcome to Cooking Incognito. In today's video, we're gonna be making a yummy vegetable stir fry. So the ingredients you're gonna need are rice cauliflower. You're gonna need some mixed peppers. It came just like that. You're gonna need a California blend of veggies, and that came just like that as well, and any type of onions. For your seasonings, you're gonna need some extra virgin olive oil. Notice it says stir fry, that's why I have it. You're gonna need some low sodium or no sodium soy sauce. You wanna try to be healthy as possible. Yes, 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 reduce sodium. You're gonna need some minced garlic or you can get fresh garlic and crush it up yourself. We're gonna need some black pepper, some ground cayenne pepper for a little kick, and we're gonna need some cumin. So let's get started. So let's go ahead and put a little bit of olive oil in our pan. I did put a little too much, so try to be careful with the olive oil. You don't want your veggies to be soggy. Go ahead and put in a tablespoon of your garlic, and you're gonna let that garlic cook just for a little bit, maybe a minute or two in your pan. Go ahead and put in your onions. Now I did make a mistake and freeze my onions by mistake, forgot all about them. And then I took them out, put them in the refrigerator to go ahead and thaw them out. So they were a little soft, but they still did the trick. They still were yummy. The stir fry was still great. So go ahead and cook your onions and your garlic just for a little bit in your pan. Now it's time to start adding your veggies in. Go ahead and add in your California blend. And go ahead and start mixing that together with your garlic and onions. Go ahead and add in your mixed peppers. Now you can cut these up fresh or you can get them from the frozen section like I did. Easy peasy. And go ahead and add it into your stir fry. Less work. If you need to cook quickly, make a quick meal, go to the frozen section, get all your veggies, and you are good to go. Now it's time for your seasonings. First up is some black pepper. Go ahead and put you some pepper to your desire. If you want a little or a lot, it's up to you. Next up is some cumin. This gives it some really nice flavor and cumin goes good with stir fry. So go ahead and add in some cumin. Next up, we're gonna add in a little bit of ground cayenne pepper, just to give it a little kick with a little bit more flavor. But if you like a big kick, go crazy with that cayenne pepper. You can also do red pepper flakes. That's a good one as well. Now it's time to add some soy sauce. Make sure that it's reduced sodium or no sodium. That way it's not too salty and you're on the healthy side and you're not getting too much sodium. That's not good for your blood pressure. Go ahead and blend up your stir fry after you have added your soy sauce. And the soy sauce just takes it to another level of flavor and it is yummy, yummy. All right, now we're gonna add the rice cauliflower because I already cooked it in the microwave in a bag that was ready to go in the microwave. Cook it and it's done. And I didn't want the cauliflower to just get mushy. So I added the cauliflower in the stir fry last. Now, if you wanna put the cauliflower on your plate first and then put your veggies on top, it's up to you. But this is the way I'm doing it.
Now it's time for me to plate this yummy stir fry. Be sure to make this dish and let me know how it turned out in the comments below or head over to my Instagram, Cooking Incognito, and let me know under this post if you made it and if you added anything or took anything out. I want you guys to let me know. Share it with me. On top, I am putting some sesame seeds just to give it some extra crunch and for presentation. Thanks for watching everyone. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more yummy videos.